going to uh, discuss the origin and the development. In ancient days, the saints, gurus, and religious hermits offered their advice which arose out of their divine knowledge and deep meditation. Later, as the social system became more organized, kings used to consult ministers for their expert advice on important matters relating to the administration of the state. So, in this example, the king of Saudi Arabia and also his consultant regard, um, discussing some important matters in relevance to the benefit or in relevance to the concern of their state. Originally, these services were provided uh, free of cost, but gradually, consultants were compensated suitably for their services. Materialism, change in values, increased sophistication, and better lifestyles all paved the way for the commercialization of consultancy services. So, it organized the consultancy services are the contribution of modern civilized complex society. The number of individuals and organizations seeking the help of consultants increased gradually. So, these individuals and organizations need the help of professional consultants for increasing the rate of profitability or making personal gains. It is against the background that organized consultancy services developed in the present-day context. So we will discuss the nature of consultancy services. Professional consultancy uh, services encompass a broad range of activities but can all generally be defined by certain common characteristics. So number one, expertise. High expertise in the consultancy services. The product is expertise. Consultants are highly trained, well experienced, and knowledgeable in a complex specialist area of expertise. So they provide an expert advice to their clients in the area of their specialization. They acquire skills by training, and experience. The second is membership in professional bodies. Consultants hold qualification and accreditation in their field of expertise. So for the real estate service, we do have this uh, Philippine Re Regulatory Board for Real Estate Service. So these are the this is the regulatory body for the real estate service professionals in our country. They have to acquire the prescribed qualification and procedures to overcome the entry barriers in the field of consultancy services. So in our, in our uh, industry, uh, the real estate consultant is uh, the most, uh, um, the highest, uh, title that you can acquire as a real estate professional. It requires you a uh, minimum of 10 years of experience as a, as a real, real estate service uh, provider, as a broker or as a as appraiser. So further membership of a professional society or governing body is also required. Highly customized services, consultancy services are tailored to meet the client's needs. This leads to greater customization of services and high levels of variance in service quality. These are high contact people based services with a high degree of specialization. Fourth, is the confidentiality. These are provided on a basis built upon a mutual trust 
and confidence. Credence plays an important role in the selection of a consultant. A consultant should have a knowledge, integrity, and reputation. So consultancy services are provided to clients individually. Quality services. Last but the first preference is the quality of the service of consultancy. So in measuring the service quality, we do have the five dimension. So we do have this reliability. So in providing this quality service, you need to perform the promised service accurately. And then the assurance, the knowledge of employee and ability to convey the trust and confidence. And also tangible, it should be uh, physical facilities, equipment, personnel, and communication materials. And also we have this empathy, provision of caring and individualized attention to customers and responsiveness, the willingness to help the customers and to provide a prompt service. Quality is the pivot around which the consultancy service revolves. Sky is the limit for quality. Clients expect high quality of services from consultants at reasonable rates. If the consultants offer world-class services, the task of its marketing is simplified. It is, the, it is in this context that almost all the consultancy organizations have been found making 79 innovative efforts to develop a new perception of quality, which helps them in achieving the desired results. So for our reference, you can check in this uh, website and also uh, in the right side, these are the reference and our book, uh, sources from the book. So as we end this uh, video lecture, I would like to pray for you, for my, for my dear students. Almighty God, we give you thanks for all the graces you have given upon us. We thank you for letting us learn about your will and your commandments and for keeping alive the faith in our hearts. Dear God, we also thank you for helping us to not give up when we make mistakes. We, we hope that you will still support and guide us in everything we do. Grant that we may love you always and do your will with smiling heart and an open mind. In Jesus' name we pray. For our next topic, we are going to discuss the role of consultants, the art of consulting, and the services delivery process. Thank you and have a good day.